today. We're back with another video. Today I'm here with Sam of Soul Stage. And can you just explain to them where we are? So right now we're actually at the warehouse with Soul Stage. Uh, so basically this is our distribution center, our focal point, when you're looking at getting all our products from here to all of our different stores. And any online sales basically goes through fulfillment here and we either ship throughout the United States, ship internationally, or we even ship to China. This will be our distribution center for us. So we're gonna give you guys a tour of this place, show you guys what they have. They basically have everything here. Take a look, we're gonna take you out and find some nice gems and show you exactly kind of like what Soul Stage is behind the scenes. It has to be the biggest sneaker warehouse I've ever seen. Think it's bigger than the actual companies? Uh, no, Foot Locker and them, the distribution center like Nike, they're, they're in Memphis, they're a lot bigger just because of the volume that they have but when you come looking at local stores or mom and pops whatever you want to call it compared to LA or everybody else this is probably more massive I mean just because this is gonna be able to store we're looking at 78,000 square feet worth of inventory over here so this is gonna be our main distribution you can see it's just row after row of different sneakers so that's what we really want to kind of show you guys is that you know what you see at the store sometimes is where it's coming from and how we're getting it there and what the power of you know the Soul Stage brand really is Remembers Yeezys, so you can kind of see through the aisles what we have. For example, like this is our Yeezy 700s, you know, right over here. So this is just going to be a basic. You got it. It's going to be the Wave Runner. This is going to be the first Yeezy that came out on the 700 side. So this is this Wave Runner, the original. All of one. these right here. Yeah. So all over here, you're going to see this is going to be all our Wave Runners over here. And then sometimes the way we logistically do it, as you can tell, we got everything categorized like A, B, 0, 7, B, so we know where everything is. So some things will be mixed together. It's gonna be like Jordans underneath, maybe some Yeezys because we move things around. So you're gonna just see some mids, you know what I mean? Like regular sneakers, but people have a demand for them, people want them. So we were talking and he gave me a quick tour before we went into here. They serve to a lot of other countries and tons of different people different around the world. So they'll have like all these like super hyped off-white shoes and Yeezys and stuff, but they also have like a bunch of generic, simple like GR shoes because they get them from lower prices or they'll get them in bulk. Our ultimate goal is to cater to every single customer out there, not just, you know, we want to be able to have the most hottest items, the hottest sneakers, hottest clothing we're going to show you in a little bit, but also we want to be able to cater to every individual that just say they just want a regular sneaker. They don't want to spend, you know, $500 at a store to buy a sneaker. They want a $100 sneaker. So like an example on this row is we're going to have all our different off-whites over here. Like this is going to be the Zoom Fly. So for example, you're gonna see here, these are some off-whites. This is gonna be the Zoom Fly, this is gonna be the pink ones that we have over here. We got Vapor Maxes right here. They just have like tons of different shoes. Air Max and all of these, and I'm totally gonna to get like distracted, but like these are like, these are like, like all the- start looking at everything at this size and opening it up saying, what is this, what is that? It's like- I know, I think they, they have, have candy store. So much stuff, so there's a lot, there's a ton of other stuff we gotta show you guys. This is just one of the very few areas, Air Force One the green ones. And this is probably just like a little bit of what they have because they're spread out everywhere. But let's keep going. I don't want to stay too much in one spot because yeah, there's so, so if much. If you come down and you just look at it, there's just going to be a lot of, we'll work our way down here a little bit to show you some variety. But here's, you're going to see there's even more off-whites behind you. There are going to be some way up there. There's These are the, what is it, the Zoom Clyde Mercules. And more Prestos, yeah, all more the Prestos Combers. And I feel like that like so many people want these Converse because they're simple, they're not too expensive. On this side, as you've seen, we're probably about what six, seven rows deep, maybe about four thousand Yeezys deep already. We're getting into some of the Jordan products. We're getting to Nike Sportswear. We're getting to some Jordan products over here. For example, like you got some Jordans. There you go. You're gonna get some of the Chinese New Year's now that we have. So this is some Jordan sixes, and you got different varieties. Like here, then you go down to some Jordan ones. There. Exactly, so you got some core purples there. So you got more Jordans again. Like you see, there's a lot of Jordan ones over here. So now we're going even to more Jordans. Yeah, these are actually really good. It was this came out in a set of four. There was two that was released in the US, two actually released internationally. Is that a Euro pair? Yes. Yeah, so not the in ones. the yellow. Exactly. So you have a lot of different ones, different pairs here. I think this probably will be the same thing, but we'll take a look. Yeah, it's exactly the same shoe. This is gonna be the Kobe's. You love Kobe's. Oh, I love Kobe's. It's Those one of my favorite. Yeah. yeah. So this is a collab they did with Undefeated. They released four different pairs. Had one released in uh, Phoenix, Silver Lake, Santa Monica, and La Brea. And each one had different colors. So these the red ones were the Santa Monica ones. Yellow was La Brea. Green, I believe, was Silver. Silver Lake, and then the orange ones were actually uh, Phoenix. Now you got the different acronyms that came out. So we have, I mean, that's the power of what we have is that we don't just have what you
what you when you walk into the store and like okay tooth so we always recommend to everybody actually talk to a sales associate ask them what we have and we can also uh, order everything from the website or from the warehouse and you know have it at the store within 24 hours now we're looking at Jordan force here like look at all the different Jordan fours we have here we have react element under covers those like, go for some stuff yeah like, I mean yeah. these all go for a good amount a good value has good resell to it and the best part is at the end of the day it's just what consumers want you can take a look you know we'll have different even we'll have sock darts here we'll even have a sneaker I mean look at just a regular sock dart entry level just something so we actually do sell internationally we sell locally we sell online so someone will be able to go on our website and say hey you know what let me pick up the sneaker and it's a good deal for them and they say hey you know what we have this up at let's say fifty dollars or something like that and that's worth it to them to come and buy it and we also want to be a market for that consumer these are all the unions i know this is one of blake's favorite sneakers uh so we got you know you can see all different like size eights we got all the way up over here to bigger sizes uh, we showed you a couple of unions earlier these are the blue ones so these were more exclusive actually to union only as opposed to other colorways. So we have this. Coming down here, another part that we actually try to, you know, focus on is our grade school market. We want to make sure that we have a you know enough sneakers for consumers you have from three and a half all the way to the seven Y. We want to make sure we have sneakers for all customers that walk into our store. So we also do focus on you know having grade school. It might be the mids right here, for example. These were like the top three type of mids that came out, I wanna say maybe a month ago maybe a month and a half ago but you see we got a lot of them over here here's some more unions on this side it's like they're just popping around all over the place and, like, and that's the thing these are the black ones sometimes we run out of space in one area and then we get more product coming in so that's why you'll always see things mixed around the warehouse is which ones like more the Black my favorite is the blue ones so i like the blue ones the most because it reminds me i'm a, you know we're in la dodger fan dodger blue like that's it true blue threes check out his shoes he's wearing the what are those friends and family these are the friends and family uh diamond supply these are the canaries so these were only uh 250 made they're exclusive to be to either friends and family and they did a drop at the complex canceled. con that really got canceled so you weren't getting it unless you were in the end so i got thankful to nick diamond for uh, being able to get these this is what we're going into is gonna be more of our jordan section Good example is look at all these Jordan whites. Ones. Those are all off whites. Yeah, so this is going to be all off whites over here. Uh, let's take a look to see which off whites these are. We can take a sneak peek. Oh Bam, God. these are going to be Carolinas. So just taking a look at all this, you know, we can keep looking and bam, more Carolina. So again, Sometimes when we look at it, this is what we have. We have access. So we always, you know, try to tell customers, hey, don't worry, we can get it for you. And this is how we have every size when you come to our stores because we're proactively having a team at the warehouse. We get a lot of celebrities coming through. We get a lot of people, a lot of tourists. We're five or six stores down from Supreme, right next to Diamond, Huff, everybody on the block. We have a store down in Irvine now, so that's two stores. We have our Valley Fair store up in San Jose, the Bay Area, that's three. We have New York actually opening up probably around March 16th. Uh, so that's gonna be our fourth store. And that's not including a store that we're actually working on right now Beijing so we're actually working on a store in Beijing out in China so that's gonna be another store for us so a lot of this inventory helps us get product over there and also with opening a store that gets us Asia product out to the US that's another big thing that we're working on let's see what this one is again more Carolinas as you can see this is what we've been picking up a lot of right now we kind of look at chasing for the little infants because people want themselves sneaker heads always want to put sneakers on their kids they want to make sure their kids are fresh their kids have all the hype that they have not just themselves so now there's a big market in that Pause. I've been looking for a gray pair for so long. These go for so much now. Do you like that pair or the black pair? I already have the black pair. Okay. I think these are better. Oh, of course, because they're OGs, Cause the, the way they dark sole on it too. I mean, that's just amazing, that sole right there. So a big thing here, this is DB13. So uh, this is a really cool sneaker. Uh, the Dornbecker Project always lets kids at Dornbecker Hospital, Nike teams up with them and lets them kind of design a sneaker. So basically they usually have this place running with a bunch of people. Correct. But I thought it would be cool for me to just come in here one day when it's not too loud. Yeah. You basically have the space. Typically you're looking at about 50 to 70 employees on a daily basis so we also have an authentication process we have authenticators in-house to actually verify that every product that we get is actually authentic so that's why you'll see it here the authenticators will take it it'll be a two-step process one person will authenticate and make sure that it's real look at things of that nature then it'll come we'll take another look at it and before it hits the shelf so you have two different set of eyes actually verifying every single product that's one big thing that we make sure is that we don't have any you know we have a pretty good success rate of not taking anything in fake and we don't sell anything we haven't in, you know while we've been around actually getting ready to ship sneakers is actually out to uh, New York. We sent our first batch yesterday, but then this is also LeBron. These are gonna be the Statue of Liberty. The house that I wanna kinda show you guys is, we got different doors to our docks, all the 18 wheelers back up here. We're loading up. We have, what is it, one, two, three, four, six different gates. We have this for security measures, so protected in here. And 
you can try to take a look at this way all this is going to be our distribution so when a product does sell you can also it goes on the ramp based on what region of a, uh, the united states it goes on if it's international it comes down comes over here it gets wrapped up gets boxed up and then here you'll have pallets and boxes that you know which ups truck to throw a product in or what our distribution is shoes that we've been collecting you can see this is actually our all-star weekend drop this is going to be the 2019 infrared six a lot of people say that this actually is closer to the og color so uh this is really cool that we have this pair it's one of those tough times stuff like this we'll buy we'll keep and we'll literally store it in our warehouse and forget that it's on you know shelf you know as or whatever 10 and just let it sit there for a couple of years as it accrues you know some value to it and then also we have grade schools over here four and a half of the same thing and for at sixes which are really really dope so we're here this is actually my business partner green kind of got a little bit of a setup here i want green to kind of go over a little bit with us play some of these sneakers these are a little bit more his he knows a little bit about the kobe's i'll show you some other stuff and he also takes care of a lot of the logistics we were talking about with china doing business in china our warehouse out there and all our infrastructure so i'm going to pass this on to green to kind of work with blake on this thank you for having me no problem no I'm problem through. this is actually where we set it up for sneaker comp, but we didn't bring all the Louis Vuitton Supreme and the bike and some of these PE to, the, to there. We just set it up for you guys to come here to showcase. This is actually the, the Kobe PEs we had. A lot of them are actually signed by Kobe. Check out this, this set. You can see it's Kobe 24. All of these PEs are very exclusive. You can't really find them nowhere, only here. And, and then, then these ones. We actually had it a while ago and we never be able to expose it because, you know, it's so rare. This is actually a better pair, I think. Which one do you like better? I like that, but you, you usually go for different colors, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. He's like really, really big into fashion. He has a ton of crazy outfits. These are the Legend of Summers. This is my favorite pair. Do you have these? This is my size. Ten and a half. So a sneaker like that actually goes for about like ten thousand. Yeah. So when you're looking at like a Legend Summer Three, it's super duper rare. A lot of people find the ones, even those Draco VOs that you see on the top. A lot of those you're looking at. People always ask you how much is this worth or how much is it. You know the price points on those you're looking at probably fifteen to twenty thousand yeah. on those snake skins. Do you think those would ever release? I don't know if they're gonna release because they actually have the four five on the back and Drake wore them. What was it about eight or nine months ago on court side? And then we as you know Green pointed out we had them for a while. One of the things where we source our products from uh, procurement is that. Sometimes we're not allowed to release them. We're not allowed yeah. to put them out in the public, show them. First time we did was maybe about a month or two ago. And here's actually uh, the Legend of Summer ones. These two pairs are different. As you can see, this one is leather. This one is actually 3M. So oh, there's man. a 3M model and a non-3M model. We can run through these fast because they have so many different shoes. Yeah, but like yeah. that right there is Wahlberger 4, 23 only made. Uh, to friends and family of Wahlberger. So that's actually really, really cool. Uh, we were able to come across that. And, this is one of our most expensive shoes here. We put them at like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, the undefeated fours. And that's actually a twenty eighteen version of it. So there's the original undefeated four, which I that had a different have. material, and uh, yeah. they released ten for more friends and family. Yeah. And yes. that's what that one is. Uh, that's more of the friends and family version. I've never seen these in person. This suede is really yeah, nice. Soft Fado. Fado. Simon MJ himself, the yeah, goat. Authenticated by Upper Deck, actually. The ones up yeah. top. I mean. That's Michael J. Fox and Back to the Future. He made those famous. Uh, this is the OG ones. It's not the auto ones, but this is what was really famous from that uh, Back to the Future. That's, you know, he did the auction on eBay and we are lucky enough to go out and win one of the auctions and have a pair from uh, the original release. These are the Yeezys. All the Yeezys, off-whites. Off -white. Yeezys, off-whites. I mean, everyone has seen those. It's like getting oversat. It's like a little bit, a little bit oversaturated. What I want to do is actually bring you guys over here and with uh, Green and show you a little bit of our Supreme LV collection we have. This is some of our prized possessions here that Green has worked on also with our other two business partners. As we said, there's four of us that do procurement. This is probably one of our best, uh, one of our most prized assets, I'd say, is going to be, yeah, go ahead and open. You can t take it out. This is going to be the Louis Vuitton uh, Supreme unofficial collaboration. This was actually the deck set before uh, the official collaboration. In the year 2000, the Supreme, as a relatively new brand, actually went and did a collaboration with, uh, didn't do a collaboration with, they made the print themselves and they, they just got a cease it, and desist. Yeah. They just yeah. did it without their approval, ended up getting a cease and desist. And being able to find three of these in such a great condition took us probably over a year and a half, I want to say, yeah. to actually procure this product and have it. So this is one of our most prized. And here's some of the box logos that I think uh, Blake was mentioning earlier. We just brought some out. We try not to have everything out. Yeah. Uh, Another thing is our Domino set, more Supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration. That's the belt. And then even over here, you see we got the duffel bag, we got the backpack over there. 
And then down here, you got more. You got the iPhone holder. So you got the bifold. You got the mini bifold. And then you got actually the scarf. We got two of the different hoodies here. You got the shirt. You got the baseball jersey. You got also the Supreme Louis Vuitton. Beyonce made that one actually famous holding you had walking with uh, Jay Z. Which one? Oh, uh, the, the red. Uh, it's not a bag, but it's more of a, the iPad the holder. Pouch. Yeah, the pouch. And also, this is the baseball jersey that goes for about ten to twelve thousand. So this warehouse, as you can, you walk through, is our headquarters in the United States. Actually, we have another warehouse in New Jersey that's for our New York store. And we also are opening one in Hong Kong and another one in Beijing along with our Beijing store. So we, we try to let everybody, every sneaker head globally can connect with each other. We try to build a bridge for people in, uh, across the world to buy sneakers through Soul Stage. That's our final goal for, for, for the next couple of years. As I said, one time we'll get you here during the weekday so you can actually see everybody in action. The warehouse is quiet, it's a rainy Saturday in LA, so we'll get you here on a weekday when you can see actually orders being placed online as if you know uh, you hear the beep go off, that means there's gonna be an item being sold, packaging to get the order, pull the product, put it out, box it up, figure out where it goes on the, uh, processing and where it gets shipped off, you're gonna see a little bit more and see a little bit more of what Green, my business partners have put together over here and they've worked very hard to establish so the stores can be successful also. Thank you appreciate guys for having me here. Me. Honestly, thank you so much for coming, I appreciate it. This was the first look at this. Nobody else has got an inside look at this place. So I really appreciate you guys for watching. Soul Stage, their social media will be all over this video. Go check out their stores, LA, New York, and then Irvine, uh, Irvine and the Bay Area. New York is going to be open in about two weeks in Soho, about four or five doors down from it's on Lafayette, uh, right next to Diamond, right next to Supreme, right next to, you know, uh, Cahart. All right, guys, we're going to close it out. With all that being said, see you guys next time. Peace.